Don't worry about the language. Let, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Welcome to another edition of Muzzy Buzz. Thank you all for tuning in and joining in. This is another video I'm doing for you guys so I can keep the content moving. Let us get all the boring things out of the way. I need you guys to subscribe, like, and hit the bell so that you can be notified every time I make a video. And don't forget to spread the word. So with all that boring stuff out of the way, let's get right into the video. Is London under the control of the Turks now, and is it part of the Ottoman Empire? Now, you're probably thinking, like, what is he talking about? What is more talking about? Now, maybe some of you Londoners know what I'm talking about, but I know a lot of Americans don't know what I'm talking about. So for all my American people out there, um, the UK recently has appointed a new prime minister. And his name is Boris Johnson. And, you know, Boris Johnson is an interesting character. This is Boris Johnson giving that good old Ottoman salute to uh, everybody in the crowd. And he's a very funny guy, you know. A lot of people are probably right now wondering, why am I saying he's giving the Ottomans salute? What does this Caucasian guy have anything to do with the Ottomans? Well, it turns out that he is the great-grandson of Ali Kamal, who was an Ottoman uh, pasha. Essentially, he's a pretty important figure in modern Turkish history, and Ottoman history. And this is his great-grandfather. Uh, his name was Ali Kamal, and his actual surname is Effendi. Uh, he was a journalist in the Ottoman Empire, and I don't want to bore you with his story because I'm trying to keep these videos short, but anybody who would want to Google his information or find out about him, there's a lot of information about him. But to sum it up, he was an Ottoman journalist and he was actually exiled by uh, Sultan Abdul Hamid II uh, because he was very liberal and he had, you know, ideas that were not necessarily orthodox or mainstream. So he was exiled from the country, and I think he went to the UK. Okay, he married a woman that was an Anglo-Saxon woman who is Boris Johnson's great-grandmother from the paternal side. Uh, but long story short, after uh, Sultan Abdul Hamid was removed from power, uh, Kamal, Ali Kamal gained a lot of influence. Uh, because he was a prolific writer, he uh, was a contributor to journals, he had a lot of uh, very liberal, democratic, secular writings, and he gained momentum. But the twist is, is that he really didn't like the Young Turks movement. Uh, he thought they were too radical, he thought it was way too liberal and way too secular, and uh, he decided to work in opposition to them. And ultimately... That is what uh, essentially got him into trouble. So he, I don't want to make the story long and boring, but eventually he ends up getting caught by a guy named Nur ad-Din. Okay? And Nur ad-Din Pasha was basically very loyal to Ataturk. And basically uh, he was in Turkey and he was getting a haircut, he was getting at the barber, he was getting shaved up, and he was kidnapped. And they were taking him to the Asiatic side of the city, and they were going to go to Ankara, where they were going to have like a, uh, a trial for him. But Nur ad-Din Pasha uh, comes in the middle of this envoy and basically just does extrajudicial killings and basically brutally murdered this guy, uh, beat him up, made him bloody, desecrated his body, hung him from a tree, and then actually wrote on his body, after he hung him, he wrote uh, like a, a saying in, in, in um, 
I think he gave him an Armenian name and he gave him like a uh, like a, his regular surname. I forgot what his name was, but he it, it, the reason why he did that was he wanted to make it look like he was conspiring with the Armenians. And so therefore they outed him out that way. And so basically, I think the name they called him was Artin or Artin Kamal. I think they called him that, um, which basically denoted that his last name was Turkish and his first name was Armenian. So... He was kind of like a collaborator. But anyways, long story short, the guy was brutally murdered. And then his remaining children who were in the UK are who became Boris Johnson's grandparents, essentially. So that is how Boris Johnson is related to the Turks. And that is why I was making a joke about it that, you know, uh, Boris Johnson is the return of the Turks in Europe and that uh, they are going to, uh, you know, infiltrate into Europe. But to be honest, the guy is a little bit uh, funny. Sometimes he's really conservative. Sometimes he's really liberal. Apparently he said some, you know, crazy things about uh, many different people, but he's been on and off, like hot and cold with the Muslims. Uh, he's made some critical remarks of Turkey, and, and he wrote a poem against Erdogan, uh, like that was bashing him, he actually won the competition, but then he goes and he goes to visit Turkey, uh, and uh, while in Turkey, he promises to help Turkey become part of the European Union, so things like that are a little bit weird about the guy, like he's like completely conservative sometimes, and appealing to that base, but then He's also sometimes very liberal and open-minded. Very strange guy. He's gone through many different phases in, in his life, but politically in the UK, politically speaking, he's always been pretty much conservative in, in, far, in terms of the offices that he's held. Uh, but he's gone to Malaysia, and uh, it's very interesting, actually. When he talks about himself, he doesn't shy away from his Ottoman history or his Turkish history. Uh, if you look at this uh, article, you'll find here very qu quickly, this was in The Guardian. Uh, I don't want to read the whole thing, but just the highlighted part. But in insisted his background with Muslim, Jews, and Christians among his great-grandparents made him a, quote, one-man melting pot, end quote. So now, is this guy really genuine about his, you know, taking pride in his Turkish or Muslim history? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I think it seems to me that he's trying to come off that he's not a racist, like put it out there, because he has also said some very racist things about black people. So, you know, like I said, the guy is all over the place. You can go look up uh, some of his funniest moments. He is absolutely crazy. But one thing I find funny is that some people are calling him uh, Baby Trump. And if you look at the guy, I mean, he does kind of look like Trump, right? I mean, got that blonde hair and that weird, awkward face. And they were both born in New York, by the way. That's, that, that is another interesting fact about him. He was actually born in uh, New York City, um, which is very strange, I think, uh, because of his maternal side. Or, But he was born in New York City. But to me, he looks like the guy from uh, Dumb and Dumber. I mean, you know, who's that guy that was acting along with uh, Jim Carrey? I forgot the actor's name. But if you look at him, he looks just like that guy. I mean, he could be a, a doppelganger for that guy. I mean, totally. He looks just like that guy uh, in, that, uh, in, in that movie. And so, uh, you know, he's a very comical looking guy. A lot of funny moments around him. And uh, people are calling him Baby Trump. But now the UK is stuck with this guy. Uh, is he going to be good? Is he going to be bad? I don't know. Anybody who might know about if he's good or bad for the UK, uh, comment down. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, fill me in. Give me some info. Tweet at me. Let me know what you guys think about this, uh, this new PM of the UK. Uh, but one thing very interesting is, uh, and I'm sorry to say this to all my UK listeners. I'm sorry to the Blood Brothers. You know I got love for you, but... A lot of you Londoners and uh, British people have been saying, oh, look at America. You guys are stuck with this crazy guy, Donald Trump. He's a clown and he's this and he's that. Well, <laughs> now you guys are stuck with your own baby Trump. I mean, Boris Johnson is a very interesting, wild, off-the-chart character. And I'm sure 
there are going to be plenty of newsworthy moments that he's going to have in the public eye. Uh, and I think the people in the UK that are listening to me already know what I'm talking about. The guy is very, very, you know, crazy. I mean, he's literally off the walls sometimes. He wears, ha has an, a very weird sense of fashion at times. He does weird things like you know, riding his bicycle around town in some weird garments. Um, he, uh, you know, just does very awkward things. But however, from what I did read about him, there is one good thing that he did. And that was, I heard that he banned public drinking, like, or drinking in public facilities or public transportation in the UK. I don't know, is that creeping Sharia law? I mean, was he trying to ban alcohol slowly by slowly? I don't know, you know. Uh, but um, why don't you guys comment you know, in the comments below and, and let me know what you guys think about Boris Johnson. Is he going to be a patriotic British man? Is he going to be a total goofball? Is he going to be good for the UK? Or is he some kind of uh, Trojan horse of the Turkish slash Ottoman Empire uh, in the UK? Well, that's all I have for today. Uh, I wanted to keep this video short and sweet. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the bell so that people will be notified when I make new videos. And don't forget to share. Make sure that you share and like and all that good stuff. Anyways, make sure you leave your comments. Get at me at Twitter at MortTMM and make sure you tell me the comments you want me or videos that you want me to do or subjects you want me to cover. I'll try to get to them. I'm going to try to keep these videos short and sweet so that everybody can enjoy and I don't bore you too long. So that is all we have for today. It is a wrap. It was a pleasure being with you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. We out. Mussy, 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 mussy